Good day everyone! For today's video, I'll be touring you around at the Earth Gallery of South Australia. This was established as the National Gallery of South Australian in 1881 and it is located in Adelaide, South Australia. It is the most significant visual arts museum in Australian state. It has a collection of almost 45,000 works of art making it the second largest state art collection in Australia after the National Gallery of Victoria. As part of the North Terrace Cultural Precinct, the gallery is flanked by the Australian Museum to the west and the University of Adelaide to the east. The South Australian Society of Arts established in 1856 and the oldest fine arts society still existence held in annual exhibitions in the South Australian Institute rooms and advocated for a public art collection. The South Australian Museum has been committed to making Australia's natural and cultural heritage accessible, engaging, and fun for over 150 years. It is a place where families can learn and grow together. Today, the museum is one of the most visited museums in Australia and holds collections of national and international significance. It is a leader in remote and regional community engagement and in Australian Aboriginal heritage and scientific research. The Art Gallery of South Australia has one of the largest art museum collections spanning 2,000 years. The collection includes paintings, sculpture, prints and drawings, photographs and videos, textiles and clothing, ceramics, glass, metalwork, jewelry, and furniture. To date, approximately 46% of collection records are available to view in the online collection. AGSA has commenced a major project for the development and construction of a new storage facility. The gallery undertakes ongoing research to establish the history of ownership or provenance of works of art in its collection. One of the famous art collection located in the Adelaide Museum is Yayoi Kusama's The Spirits of the Pumpkins Descended into the Heavens. According to Yayoi Yusama, he sees the world as an endless space. And as the world's most popular artist, known for her immersive polka dot and mirror installations, over the course of her 70-year career, she has engaged with an expansive idea of space in the human body. She uses several recurring motifs, dots, eyes, and nets, and pumpkins to investigate repetition and to create sensory experiences that hint at the infinite. With this installation, Kusama invites viewers to immerse themselves in her world to participate in an experience of both enveloping and infinite space and around a trip from the microscopic into the cosmic. Here, the dots of the wider room and the pumpkin's wood cob te pip space seem to reproduce at an alarming rate, overgrowing their environment and threatening to obliterate the viewer's body. Kusama is one of the most significant contemporary artists whose perceptual engagement with the world was informed by the visual auditory hallucinations she experienced as a 10-year-old girl. Another collection was Alexander Scrum, Madonna and Child in 1851. The painting beautifully depicts the motherly love of the Virgin Mary for Jesus. The blue color of the mantle symbolizes her role as the Queen of Heaven. Furthermore, the red color of her gown symbolizes the blood of Christ representing crucifixion of Jesus. Another painting was the coronation of the Virgin with Saints Luke, Dominic, and John the Evangelist in 1580. Fun fact, 
The National Gallery of South Australia is opened by Their Royal Highness Prince Albert Victor and Prince George Frederick, later known as King George V, in what is now the Mortlock Library in North Terrace, Adelaide. This tour to Adelaide Museum was very significant to me. I never expected that I can go to a place such as like this that had housed a lot of art materials, art and crafts that had been there for a long time, uh, almost 2,000 years. And most of those pieces were really priceless in making. It was made by artists who've been living for a longer time and now their significant contribution to the world of art is very remarkable. I was amazed by how the Australian Museum presented the different artifacts, paintings, and different memorabilia. It was such an overwhelming experience for me and I wish to go back there and learn something more from those paintings that I have discovered and to really dig deeper about the, its history, culture, and the reasons behind crafting those crafts. If pictures amazes you already, I tell you, when you go there personally, you will be mesmerized more and you will appreciate their culture and their arts. And mind you guys, this museum is free. You can just go there, look around, take some photos and videos, but make sure there's no flash in it. Do not touch anything there and just enjoy the view. The place is also very accessible. You can ride on a tram or just walk around there. It's just in the city and um, it is really, really accessible. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and learn something from this video. Hope to see you soon in my next vlog. Happy day everyone. Bye bye.